Welcome to Firefox for the Adept. My name is Chris Lott. You can reach me at chris at chrislott.org. Today we're going to look at a few tab plugins for Firefox. It's great to know how to use Firefox's built-in tab functions efficiently, but using tab plugins can take your efficiency to the next level. The first plugin we are going to look at is called Tab Mix Plus, and you can find a link to it on the resources section of this podcast. In order to use Tab Mix Plus, you must first install it. You can install this extension like most others using the add-ons page of the main Firefox website. I'm on the Tab Mix Plus page right now. Add to Firefox will download and install it, verifies that it's okay, and then you'll need to restart in order to see the features at work. With Tab Mix Plus installed, you'll have many new options for handling tabs. So let me engage in a typical browsing session for myself where I do a search for something, in this case modular origami, and then I open up in new tabs a number of interesting looking resources so that I can look at them later. The first thing you'll notice that Tab Mix Plus is doing is it indicates in red tabs that I've opened with content but have not yet looked at. This is very useful as I bounce around between these so I don't miss anything. Now when I go into a particular page and I browse around, let's look at Fractal Origami, a Mender sponge looks interesting and that's going to take me to another page. I can then use Tab Mix Plus to duplicate this tab retaining its history. That's a very important concept because other kinds of duplication don't keep that history, which makes it less navigable. For instance, on this page, if I were to copy the URL, open a new tab, paste it, hit return, I would have that duplicated page, but notice when I go to go back, there's no history. However, on a duplicate tab using Tab Mix Plus, duplicate the tab, that retains the full history or the path back through where I came from so that I can move back and forth more easily. That's one thing that Tab Mix Plus makes simple. Tab Mix Plus also allows you to simply right click and copy the URL of the tab. Just a quick feature as opposed to going to that tab uh, URL bar and doing it so I can copy and paste it. Just a little tiny thing but you can also assign that to a double click or something even faster. Tab Mix Plus also adds a closed tabs list, so rather than just having a single undo close tab, I'm going to close some of those tabs I had open, I can do the close tabs list and see the last 10 recently closed tabs, and you can expand that number if you wish. Finally, and there are many other options, I'm just covering a few, Tab Mix Plus allows you to have what are protected or locked tabs. A protected tab is perhaps the most important one. Let's say I'm doing my Google search and I keep opening up many, many different items, which is what I tend to do. I tend to go a little crazy. Then I can protect my Google tab, which just keeps it from being closed even if I try to. So if I'm on something else and I think, oh, I want to close all of these other tabs I have open about origami, so I can use close other tabs, but I forget that I have this modular origami search open, that's okay because even though I went go to close it, that protected tab cannot be closed. Tab Mix Plus has many other options and settings, far too many to go through here, but I wanted to point out a few to you and also show you how to get to them so that you can look at each setting and option and choose for yourself. Like all Firefox add-ons, you get to the preferences through the add-ons window, tools, add-ons, and then hit the preferences for the particular add-on you want, in this case Tab Mix Plus. Now we have a bunch of different options here, I just want to point out three. One is how you handle the display of the tab bar. For instance, I like it so that I only see the tab bar if I have one tab open. It doesn't make much sense to me to have a bar for switching between tabs when I only have one tab open. And I can set that or change that in the display tab bar panel. So I can choose to hide the tab bar never, which is the default, or when I have only one tab, as I am doing now, or you can have the tab bar hidden always and just use keyboard shortcuts to navigate if space is truly at a premium. It's also useful to take a look at how your unread tabs and tabs and other tab display options are handled in the tab menu. So you'll notice when I had shown you earlier that the Tab Mix Plus was highlighting tabs I had not seen yet, that's handled here under highlighting. You can also have it highlight the current tab or not highlight unread tabs. You can also show whether or not you have those little icons to indicate protected tabs, locked tabs, things like that. Or if you want that little progress meter you might have noticed as tabs are loading. I find that particularly useful. And finally you can 
take care of many options in the actual menus themselves so they're less complicated using the menu option. You have multiple context menus. The menu that I've been showing you is the co tab context menu or the right click menu. And you'll see in here there are lots of options that you can turn off or turn on. If you're not using it, why not get rid of it? So if you're not using the lock and protect tab features, go ahead and turn those things off. If you don't use pin as app tab, you can turn that off, whatever. Turn on the ones you want, turn off the ones you don't. And then when you go back here, you'll notice that your tab context menu has changed. I don't have the protect and lock tab here anymore. And if I only have one tab open, the tab bar disappears. Those are the options that I've chosen. There are many other options. You need to go in there and choose the ones that work best with your workflow and the way you like to work. In addition to direct tab management features, TabMix Plus also adds a beefed up session management feature to Firefox. Session management is kind of like bookmarking all tabs to a folder, except it keeps more information, including multiple windows, if you have multiple windows open. To show you how that works, examine the browsing session I have now. I have these five tabs open that are all about me. And if I want to come back to reading these five different sites that are all about me routinely, I could bookmark all tabs into a folder, but that's going to create a folder I need to manipulate, and it's not going to save the current state. Whereas if I go to Tools, Session Manager, and save this window, then I can call this Ego Reading, Save. And that saves all of these into a particular session. Let's see how that works by opening up some other um, items. So I'm going to go ahead and create a whole new session. I'm going to open a bunch of new tabs. I'm going to close all these old ones that I had so that I'm now essentially as if I were reading in a whole different way. And I can save this session as well. This is a bunch of reading that I do almost every day, so I'm going to save this window and call it uh, General Reading. And now that I've saved these two sessions, I can switch back and forth between them using the Tools Session Manager window. If I go to back to Ego Reading, it replaces all the current tabs that I have with that session. Notice this is different than opening all in bookmarks, where it would open up next to the other tabs, include all the other tabs, and would not include windows. So session management, the ability to easily switch back and forth between groups of reading, uh, research, or other tabs that you want to have as a cluster, definitely saves a lot of time. The second plugin that I highly recommend when working with tabs is called Tree Style Tab. I think it was created by a Japanese person who did not use the plural, which I can't bring myself to do, so I will call it Tree Style Tabs throughout this tutorial. And Tree Style Tabs is a plugin that allows you to move your tab bar from being horizontal on the screen to vertical. And you'll see why that's useful and very productive. Modern computer displays have an aspect ratio that are, is wider than it is high. Therefore, unlike the old days, vertical real estate is more valuable than horizontal real estate. Having the tab bar used across the horizontal makes less sense now than along the vertical. Tree Style Tabs is a plugin that allows you to move that tab bar from the horizontal to the vertical. So notice what my browser looks like now with the normal tabs, and then I'm going to switch to Tree Style Tabs so that you can see the difference in use of real estate, and then we can get into using it more and customization. Here I have all the same tabs open as before, but with Tree Style Tabs enabled, they are now on the vertical instead of the horizontal, which makes more sense, as I said, with modern screens. Otherwise, the tabs function pretty much like the tabs that you used to before. You'll notice that things like the unread tabs being read and the loading progress bars are coming from Tab Mix Plus all function. Tree Style Tab simply moves the tabs from the horizontal to the vertical position. But Tree Style Tabs does more than just move your tab bar from the horizontal to vertical position. As its name implies, it also allows you to work with tabs as trees. Let me demonstrate how that works and what it means. If I open up a bunch of bookmarks now, and I say open all in tabs as we've done before, it will now open as a tree, in other words, a collapsible unit in the tab bar. This makes having many tabs open, even if they're considered somewhat like sessions, but are just folders full of tabs, much more efficient. So as you can see, I can open that tree, I can collapse that tree, and I can move around within it. I can also deal with that tree as a unit, so I can reload all of the tabs in that particular tree. Useful if you're having tabs open that are keeping up with current events or news or things that change quite rapidly. 
I can also close an entire tree, or conversely, I could have closed everything but that tree. So the tree style functions actually make working with tabs much more efficient. The tree style tabs plugin has many options. Just as I did with Tab Mix Plus, I'm going to highlight just a few of the most important ones and leave it up to you to get in and explore the rest. As usual, we will access the add-ons options through the Tools add-ons menu and choose the preferences for tree style tabs. Now perhaps the most important option that you can consider is moving the tabs from the left to the right. This makes sense for various usability reasons and I just urge you to give it a try. So in the appearance section we can move it to the right and we can if we wish invert the tab appearance which moves the tabs so that they kind of flow from right to left keeping them butted up against the, that right hand border. Notice that difference as I switch from invert to non-invert. You might also want to choose a more compact rendering and you can go through the different display options that you have here. I prefer one of these flatter renderings myself because I still need all the screen real estate that I can get. The mixed works well for me. You will also want to look at the menu section and this handles which options you have available on that context menu and one that I showed you needs to be enabled called close other tabs except this tree and like tab mix plus you can get rid of the options that you don't want. You might also want to check out the behavior of new tabs and how they open up. For instance, if you go to open up all bookmarks and tabs, you can either have tree style tabs ask you whether you want to open them up as normal tabs or as a tree, which is the default, or you can say to always open it as a tree, which they recommend, and I do too. And finally, if your screen real estate is truly at a premium, you might look into the auto shrink and auto hide options where you will then only see the tab bar or a small version of the tab bar when you put your mouse over to the right hand side of the window. I personally find this annoying, but if I'm on a really small computer screen, I will sometimes use that just to have a little bit of extra space. I leave it to you to look through all of the other options, there are quite a few, and figure out which ones will work with your working style. Thanks for watching this edition of Firefox for the Adept. If you have comments or questions, I'm happy to hear them. My name is Chris Lott. I'm at chris at chrislott.org or at Lott Ruminates on Twitter.